What's up, Navigation Nation? We are back with another coaching video for you. Today is Wednesday, November 22nd, the day before Thanksgiving. And I'm here with our contest winner, Matt King. Matt, how are you? Hey, what's going on? Glad to be back. So we are, let's take a look at where we're at with, with all of our different positions. Uh, we're on the monitor tab in the account here, and you can see we've got well, the current positions that we have on are oil, which is, which is one that we're going to be booking profits in today. And then we've also got a position on in nat gas forward slash NG, which we've got some profit there, but not enough to take off yet. We want, we want some more. And then we've got NQ, which is our little problem child. We're getting back to a point of, of break even and, and we had a huge rally yesterday in the in price of the nasdaq and so we're back in the hole on that one so we're gonna let that one fester a little bit and and hopefully uh hopefully we can get a little bit of downside movement in price and uh get back to get back to where we need to be nasdaq still owes us some money they're, they're holding out on us but i have a feeling they're gonna give it back hopefully <laughs> <laughs> yeah hopefully is right <laughs> Um, and then we've got Costco, which is a, a trade that we just put on a few days ago, and that's uh, we, we did an iron condor in Costco. So just put that on, so down a few shekels, 15 bucks, not much profit or loss there, so we'll continue to, to monitor that one. But uh, And then I'd like to put on a new position, but before we do that, let's go ahead and book our winner in oil, forward slash CL. If you go to the Analyze tab there, let's just... Check that out. Show everybody where we're at in that position. Yeah, so it's like three thirty, about three thirty out of nine ten. Yeah, and we and we put this trade on only about seven days ago. So, if you, you know, from our course on strangles, you know that anytime we we make you know thirty percent profit, thirty percent of max profit in ten days or less, we're going to book that. We're going to take that money and run. And uh, there's no reason to, to wait around, especially with price so centered right now. You know, if it moves a decent amount in either direction, we're going to, we might start to lose money from where we're at. So we want to go ahead and, and book that profit. Gotcha. So you want to do that right now? Anything yeah, let's else? go ahead and, let's go ahead and do it. All right. Let's make sure I'm, so select these down here, right? Yep, yep. Yep. Oops. Got the wrong one. So they're both selected. So we want them both to be selected and then create a closing order. Buying back. And it looks like we're right there at 58 cents. So we should get filled right there. I was going to say, I guess 58 cents looks good. <laughs> doesn't, right. get, doesn't get much tighter than that. Send. Yep, there it goes. And it's, and it's out. All right, so good deal. Booked a nice trade there. Booked a nice profit there. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, we already talked about where we're at with the other positions. Go ahead and click on the NASDAQ uh, forward slash NQ. So you can see this. We've got these two different positions on. This is the aggregate of both positions. Uh, so you, you can see prices just kind of hanging out on our upper, upper end of our range. So we really need uh, just a move down in price. And we, we can, you know... If you if you kind of drag your mouse down to about you know the 6,300 level, um, hover yeah right there. I mean if we get to that point, I mean we'll be we'll be back in the profit. So it's not going to take much of a down move. Um, we we do want to eventually roll this to January. So you know if price just kind of stays where it is or continues to move higher. We're going to roll this out to January. If you go to your trade tab to see how many days we have left to expiration. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, so 23. Yeah, so we've got 23 days left to expiration. And as again, as taught in the Strangles course, the mechanical thing to do is once we get under that 21 days to expiration, that's when the that's when the gamma, which is one of the option Greeks, uh, it's kind of a it's one of the measures of risk. The gamma or the risk in the trade really starts to accelerate once you get under that 21 days to expiration with these strangles. And so what we would do is we would simply roll that trade out to January. But at this point, nothing to do. If in the next couple days 
price moves down, we'll just book the profit and get out of it. If it continues higher or kind of stays where it is, we will uh, we'll look to, you know, sometime early next week, we will look to roll that out to January. Okay. I hear you. So this, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was going to say this one's just been, uh, it's been an interesting ride with the NASDAQ. Let's just say that. So. Yeah. And, and, you know, that's, it's pretty normal, uh, you know, just based on the probabilities, you know, one, one, one underlying symbol, and we try to stay pretty diversified. You know, we've got some in stocks, some in natural gas, we had oil, we've had bonds, we've got Costco, which is individual stocks. So we're, we're staying very diversified, but you're always going to typically have a problem child in the bunch. You know, you, it'd be nice if we just put it, put it, put the trade on and book the profit, took it off and, and made it easy. But unfortunately, it's never that easy. You've got to, some of these, you got to, you got to manage and adjust and roll and, and eventually, you know, the probability do always play themselves out over time. Uh, but, but the other part of it, you know, is we've, we're in a very finite, a very short period of time here. We're just trading this account for three months during this coaching and, um, in contest session. So, uh, you know, I think we'll, I think we'll be all right. We just got to continue to, to work, work the trade as we do and stay mechanical. I, I agree. Yeah. So let's go ahead. And, uh, so now we've got, we've got $35,000 of buying power available. And so let's go ahead and put on another position We've got, uh, with the market the way it is, kind of going into a holiday weekend, you know, we've got a lot of premium just kind of being sucked out of the, out of the different options and a lot of different symbols. Uh, but one that, that still is continuing to kind of hold up, hold up its wings as far as the implied volatility goes is EWZ. So go ahead and click on EWZ and go to your charts tab. And so you can kind of see it's implied volatility is down some today, but it's still above that 50 level. The percentile is at the 58 level, now the 57. So still some decent premium in those options. So let's go ahead and go to the trade tab and, and put on a trade in EWZ. Okay. So the 50, 58 days. Yep. Is that going? Yeah, so we'll be in the January 19 cycle. January 18th? Oh, 19th, January of 18th. Yeah, uh, January 19th of 2018 is kind of how you, how you read that. I don't, know why, I don't know why they make it so complicated in such a weird order, but <laughs> hey, that's, that's the exchanges that we deal with. In the, uh, in the military, that's the way that I would read that, 19th January of 2018. Okay. That's actually, I don't know why the military, I always thought that that was weird that the military did that, but... Just some weird trivia for you. Well, they got a weird twenty-four hour clock too. So, yeah, they do. <laughs> took me took me twenty years to figure it out, and then then I was just done with it. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's hit a twenty-three here, and uh, we're gonna sell a strangle. We're gonna sell in our typical typical strangle, kind of in that. There's 21, 20 plus, yep. 37, so we got 44 on the call, 37 on the put. And let's see. Did you want to change the um, the contract amounts? Let's go ahead and move it over to the Analyze tab, and then we can adjust it over there. Okay. Let's look. Analyze that trade. So I don't know if that's accurate. It's 99.96 percent. Uh, well, it's accurate prob- based on probability. Where, the, where the slices <laughs> are currently set and where the date is oh. set. So once we set our slices, we'll get a more accurate reading. Yeah, I gotta do it. still. And then we've got to change your little calendar up top there. Make sure that oh, matches, matches the expiration date. Should remember it since we just talked about it in detail. 19, 19 January, sixty four percent. Okay, that's about more right. Yeah, and the the nineteenth is actually the Friday, but technically options expire the Saturday after the Friday expiration. Just a little FYI. So you actually want to kick that up to one twenty, 
to give the most accurate reading. Okay. There you go. And and you'll see that's that's reflected in the in the little box at the bottom left of the graph where it show, always shows the expiration date of the teal color, 120. Yep. Son of a gun. It sure does, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so $121 max profit with one, one contract there. Yeah, so collecting in credit and got a little over 64% probability of success if we held it all the way to expiration. Obviously, we like to book our winners at a percentage of max profit, so our probabilities of winning is closer to 80, 85%. And, um, and yeah, so based on the amount of capital, um, let's go ahead and, you know, we don't want to get too big and we've got, um, you know, premium, like I said, it's kind of being sucked out of the markets right now, implied volatility being with implied volatility dropping, but let's go ahead and put on a, let's go ahead and put, kick that up to five contracts and uh, that'll be a good position. And then if we need to, if we want to, if implied volatility spikes back up or if we have a big price move, we can, we can always add another, another layer and scale into that position. Sounds good to me. So that'll give us a max profit of 605. And so go ahead and ship that order in. Okay. So using uh, about $2,500 in capital. Yeah, that's what I wanted to look at there. Yeah. It's, it's not bad. Hopefully I did everything right there. You did. Uh, we just need to. Uh, we're gonna need to adjust that one. Not gonna get filled at a dollar twenty-one. Probably get filled at a dollar twenty yeah. or dollar nineteen. I always have like a moment of hesitation before hitting that send button because it's like, oh, did I do everything right? Did I select the right amount? And uh, you, you know, it's it's always, you know, so the more you do this, the better it gets. But it's always a little bit of a moment of hesitation as I'm about to hit that. So, yeah, so I didn't no, I, screw it up. <laughs> yeah, no, I hear you. I mean, and, and that's part of the reason I kind of go through the steps that I that I have taught you and I teach in the course to bring it over to the analyze tab, set your slices, make sure your probabilities are in line for for kind of the, this type of trade. Uh, set your you know make sure your calendars on the expiration date so you kind of get an accurate reading, and give you that kind of visual visual picture. So, yeah, but and then even that you know when with only you know trading for a short amount of time yeah you're gonna have that hesitation eventually you know the more it's just like anything the more you do it the more comfortable you get with it next thing you know it's second nature and you don't really even think about it but so no, yeah. no problem I could I could imagine that one day one day I'll be there so go ahead and uh, go ahead and pop up your little arrow down below there yep and let's go ahead and cancel replace on that working order and yeah let's kick it down to 120 see if we get filled there so it looks like a pretty tight uh, spread there so hopefully that does work <laughs> yeah, EWZ stays pretty liquid pretty tight so yeah we got, got filled at 120 yep did cool so we are there in the trade uh, and we've got so we've got four different positions on. We've got Nat Gas, we've got uh, NQ, which is a basket of a lot of technology stocks. We've got Costco, which is an individual stock, and then we've got EWZ, which is the Brazilian stock market index ETF. So good diversification here. You know, hopefully we get a little bit more implied volatility spike potentially you know next week and uh and that would give us an opportunity to, to put more positions on if we don't we still may put another position on and and uh you know depending on what happens with you know especially especially with nasdaq we'd love to we'd love to see a down move in that because that would do two things for us one if stocks are moving down we'd get a spike in implied volatility and then two that would really help our nasdaq position just to uh to get back some of that that money that they owe us Yep. Yeah, definitely. We want to get some money back on that. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, that's all we got today. Matt, any other comments or questions before we sign off? I don't think so. I think it was a pretty straightforward day, and uh, we'll definitely keep an eye on that, uh, that NQ and uh, see what happens. Cool. Well, I hope you and your family have a great Thanksgiving, and uh, barring any major moves so just to give you an idea the the hours for the for the market so that it's closed on thanksgiving 
uh, and then it, uh, the markets actually open a half day on Friday, so it's open till noon central or one o'clock your time. So if, if we do see some kind of major move, uh, I don't want to bother you on your holiday, but we'll at least correspond and kind of talk about what's going on. And if we need to make a make a move, we probably won't record it, but uh, but we can definitely place a trade if needed. Yeah, definitely. Stay in touch, uh, and we'll we'll make something happen if it needs to happen. Cool. Sounds and, good. Uh, Have a great happy holiday. Thanks. Yeah, and happy uh, Thanksgiving to you and everybody that's uh, listening as well. So. All right. Take care. Okay. Take care. Bye.